guys want to see Dave drive an ACR? Maybe you should buy this as the next tire slayer. I have huge news. What's up, you guys? Good morning. Welcome back to another episode of Daily Driven Exotics. Dave, we've never hit the water slide in our whole time of being here. There's a water slide here? Yeah, I didn't even know that. You guys can see the Mercia logo and the Bentley sitting over there. Dude, the Bentley is a boat. Of course, it's a big car, too. Next to the uh, Bentley, it's like a thimble. We got a lot of things on the go today. My glass for the roof of the 720 GTR is going to get replaced. It has a little crack in it. The car's got to go to McLaren at some point. We have to go to Fast Track Auto Body and resolve the issue with the 488 and the wheels i think the wheels are going to get sent out and remilled but i need to let andrew know because the car's sitting on the lift we also have to take the mercy logo in and get a few things dialed in with it i absolutely love having the mercy back with the power with the response and how you guys how's your breakfast I love having the Mercia logo back. I love having the Bentley. It's so comfortable. Look at the trunk open. By the way, the trunk button doesn't work half the time. Oh, there it goes halfway. Hey, you got so much room. You gotta love the Bentley. I know the audience is like, the Bentley is weird, but it's so comfortable. Oh, it's McLaren. I thought you had a Bentley hat holder too. I thought you got one for every brand. No, this no. is pretty cool. Oh, DB. I want coffee. Who wants coffee? We all need coffee. <laughs> it needs a new strut. Cold start on the Mercy. This is going to wake up the entire neighborhood. <laughs> That's always good. That's a good sign. You just gotta get a rebuilt uh, alternator done and put in here the right voltage up. She will be mint, bulletproof. Dave, Dave, Dave. <laughs> she'll be bulletproof. Get out of here. <laughs> Our sound was good. Woo! Woo! Greater loser. <laughs> That's called Italian air conditioning because he has no AC right now. Oh, it got warm out. Do that on the Coca Cola driving to Kelowna. <laughs> At 120? I don't even know if the doors would stay up. Check this out. There's an August track day sticker on this 600 LT. Maybe it's being prepped for the upcoming track day this Thursday. We're going to be going to a track day again, you guys. David had one idea. He wants to see if I could take the R34 GTR onto the track and see what kind of a lap time I could put down. I bet you could roast most of the cars there. I mean, I'm a decent driver. I'm not a race car driver. Tony so told me off camera. Yeah, well. And we'll see what those tires hold up because they're old. Oh, so are you. So. What? There he is! Hey! Dude, you got the 3RS here? See, that car reminds me why I got rid of that piece of Yeah, why is that? I have a GT3 RS Slayer now. The Urus. We got a race. The Urus versus GT3 RS. Yeah, it's probably faster. <laughs> they're fast. Yeah, There's yeah, that okay. pile of right there. Dave has it out for GT3 RS. Ugh. And after that, he says he's even going to take down GT2 RSs. GT2 RS's. Ray, you can't hide from me. <laughs> he has officially coined his wrist build, the GT3 RS Slayer. That's aiming pretty f***ing low. I ordered a honest, plate though. for it. It's just GT3 RS for my RS. Dude, listen, <laughs> you have a V8 twin turbo, right? Yeah, yeah something like that. I was that. joking, you have to V8 twin turbo It's later. also weighs like how many thousand pounds? But still. Get towing capacity. Why don't you make it race your 675? No, 675 LT is like a P1 destroyer. That's what? I'm here to talk. I just drove it the other day. It's probably the slowest car we have. I think your Urus stock would give your 675 LT a run for its money. I think once you, we... Hold on, did you say no it wouldn't? Do you want to race those on Thursday? Where? At the track. Is there a straight line? Yes, the front straight. Do you guys want to see the Urus race the 675 LT in a straight line? I do. That would actually be pretty crazy. I do. 675 horsepower versus 615. Your car should obviously win. Do this like in Fast and Furious 4, we do it through traffic in a city. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... I'm okay, right now, you guys. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> So arrogant. <laughs> hey guys, just to interrupt your video for a second, listen up. We get to make amazing content because we partner with amazing companies. And this video is sponsored by Raycon. Now you've heard me talk about Raycon before. They make these amazing Bluetooth wireless little earbuds. They're called the Everyday E25. They have six hours of playtime. They're super comfortable. They fit nice and snug into your ear like this. You can use them for going to the gym, maybe sitting in the back of a Bentley because as nice as this car is, Dave didn't buy a stereo. So I just sit in the back, put on the massage seats, put my 
my Raycon earbuds in wirelessly through my device, whether it be my iPhone or my laptop, I can play my favorite music. The coolest thing is other celebrities use these earbuds like Mike Tyson, Snoop Dogg, Melissa Etheridge, and these were founded by Ray J. This little case happens to be the portable charging device. So once they run out of their juice after six hours, you can just take them and pop them back in here. This little case is gonna recharge the earbuds for you on the go. They come in multiple different colorways, blue, white, red. I have a blue set. They go great with my R34 GTR. Make sure you guys go and get a set right now. I highly recommend them. They have amazing sound, super crisp, crazy bass. All right, guys, click the link in description or go to buyraycon.com forward slash DDE. It's pretty cool because we're gonna give you 15% off your order. Raycon earbuds started about half the price of other premium wireless earbud brands, and they sound just as amazing as other top audio brands. Raycon offers their wireless earbuds in a range of fun colors and patterns with a variety of fit options and no dangling wires or stems. Click the link in description and go and get your Raycon Everyday E25 earbuds. Get 15% off. Go right now, click the link in description. I have huge news. So the car I have been basically paying for for over a year while it's being built, this is like paying child support without the visitation, bro, is now officially loaded and ready to go to California for tuning. It's the F12. Twin turbo. Base model with the turbo kit. Shut your f***ing mouth. <laughs> well, <it Okay>. is. <laughs> Somebody uh, vandalized the headlights with a yellow tint. You're such a <laughs> He just keeps going. Well, hello. Dana, the car's headed to California. Here it is. F12's all wrapped up in California to get tuned. That is awesome. Wow. That's Shit's really cool. Get real. When Aaron said, see on the West Coast, he's coming to San Diego. Hale's vagina. vagina. Hopefully get to meet him. I have never met Aaron. This whole thing went down. Our buddy <laughs> Dean was like, hey, Aaron's available. He could build your car. Blah, 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 blah. He's the best in the business. Blah, blah, blah. And here we are. Blah, blah, blah. He'll build the F12. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Blah, 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 turbo, get it done. Ray had the best comeback you missed. When you were like, I met Aaron, what did you say? I said, your wallet has. <laughs> <laughs> we will go over some of the numbers, what it cost, and things of that nature. And what's crazy is Aaron didn't even bill me for all the hours. No. She took a whole bunch of time off, and I'm grateful for that because the bill was big. This is the biggest build I've ever done when it comes to just like a motor. Oh, whatever, it's gonna be the best one, I'm sure of it. He's yeah. talking the whole time. I know, I know. He's talking the whole time. I know, I know. <laughs> All right, Gabe's first reaction to the DDT exhaust. You ever heard it yet? No, so I heard the old one and it was a little eh, eh. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Oh, sh you like it, David. I didn't love I remember that, actually. You were like, I don't know. Says GT Tourist Ownery, so Anyway. All right, let's hear this thing. It looks yeah, that's good. It's crisper. It's a good sound. The other one was just loud. It got rid of that, like, the angry V sound. Yeah. It sounds like a refined race car now. Now all the LFA owners can go themselves. <laughs> that's just an ongoing joke, so don't take it personally. We're just joking. We're just joking. I like the LFA. It that's is super a sick. bad too. It is a bad car. However, with this car, with this exhaust, I believe it sounds better. Oh, wow. Those are actually really nice. Right? Gold with a polished lip. That's race car. The guy's here. He wants to fix Damon's mistake. This is at least a fixable thing, right? Yeah, 100% fixable. Raymond's fixing Damon's mistake. <laughs> a lot of mistakes. <laughs> Ten years ago, I made a big mistake, and I let this guy come into my store. <laughs> you gotta be careful with Raymond. He will karate kick the out of you. Crane kick? That is lethal. We have all these beautiful vehicles at our disposal. Career GT and Largo, Murcielago, 600LT, Dave's favorite car, the GT3 RS. But we are going to take Opulence to lunch. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Get your seatbelt on. I can open my door anymore. Are you you Gabe, such a nice guy. Hands in your section. You know how you use it? They're peasant fingers. <laughs> Gosh, this thing's actually pretty quick for how big it is. Is it love being driven around on this? It's pretty sick. It's no right Rolls Royce, but it's nice. And brakes. Oh, I'm, right? I'm gonna laugh when you break something. Hey, it's Bash Rock! What's up, and Andrew? Lunch first. <laughs> Dave Savage. <laughs> 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 Car means nothing to you.
Excuse me. Oh, hey, you're recording? <laughs> Discuss our trip to the U.S. of A. Oh, okay. Do you want to come with us? Yes. Really? Always. Cool. What are we thinking? I always get the soup. Do I do something different? I love a vermicelli bowl. That's my go-to. It's too hot for soup. It's too hot for soup. I'm going to get soup. Just a I'm going to get a jack shake, too. I'm going to get a Coke Zero. Same. Gabe, you scored. That looks so clean and healthy. Chicken rice. <laughs> Look at this. This is the place to come. Got my jackfruit shake, beef noodle soup. Dave and I honestly wanted to fly private down for our first trip back after a year and a half. It's safer because we're not on a plane full of other people that potentially could get us sick with COVID. And it's a great excuse to fly private. Yeah, dude, that's a bucket list item. So we got a quote waiting for the number. We have no idea what it's going to cost to fly LA to Vancouver return. I'm hoping it'll be sub $10,000. It'll be probably 18000 one way. I'm yeah. guessing twenty two. Wow, I'm way off. I'm hoping sub 10 one way. We are at Fast Track Auto Body and there is the G, -G, 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 -G wagon all torn down. Ready for the wrap? Wifey is going to be so in love with this when it's done. Two-tone, Nardo gray and black. Don't get out. Don't, no, don't get out. Don't get out. We'll, we'll just go inside. <laughs> Try, we'll we'll just go inside. Go Andrew. Andrew. Over here. Where are you going? Driving right into his shop, dude. Oh my God. The second 20s in here. What are you doing? I drove down the highway, no PPF in the brand new 720 GTR. Thinking I wouldn't get any rock chips, I got a rock chip in the front bumper. Hey, Tony. Tony. Hey! hey. <laughs> they didn't want to get out. They're just enjoying the comfort. I didn't say anything. Dave drove in here. Or later. Dave, see you later, bro. She's f***ing hilarious. She's <laughs> probably like, what? The car is 19 feet long. So it's quite a stance. We pull in someone's garage. Wow. And we got to take this thing, which is all torn down, over to Wrapworks and get it started. You're a wild man. Now he's wild, but when it comes to turning, he's actually more confident behind the wheel of the Bentley than he is anything else. Oh, Andrew! <laughs> he's running out of the way. Maniacs. What are you guys doing here? Whose Porsche is this? This is nice. Big fan of that. Big fan. That's a turbo. sick turbo. Oh, this is the one. This is the one. This is the one. I want this. Is it for sale? No. Yeah, it was. Wasn't it? I don't know about that one. Yeah. Uh, and decent proposal. <laughs> Everything's for sale. That is sick. Don't get out of the car. Don't hit the mercy. This vlog takes place in a Bentley. Oh, it doesn't. Don't worry about that, guys. This is sick. This is a nice car. Who's a fan of this? Work wheels. That's not something you see every day. Oh. I'll grab 50 bucks if I have a new one. <laughs> hey, get, get oh, a Urus, buddy. Lot. Get an Urus. A base model with 12 <laughs> 12 inch wheels? Yeah. More story is, kids, what car you have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's very close to the Mercy Lago. Oh, Ford, you got lots of room. I'm sorry, Damien, did I ask your opinion? Like a glove. Cars for sale. 2017 Viper ACR. It has a 9 liter hey, Ray, Ray. stroker Are you kit from. stuff on our channel again? From Woodhouse Engineering. The Viper, the exhaust is over here, Dave. I'm proud of well, that was exciting. How much is it? 260 US. Jesus! Two what? 260. Oh, that's, that's nothing for you guys. Oh, damn. Wow. It's actually pretty cool. That's crazy. That's this is all carbon, hey? Trick. I'll give you 200. The tires are worn out. He's never driven on these tires. They're worn out. He's <laughs> never even been on it. It has 600 kilometers. Raymond wore it out when he drove it in here, clearly. Skirt, skirt, skirt. Coming through the glass, That's sideways, cool. reverse entry. He's trying to make me look bad. Best case, then I'll, I'll write a check. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Way too much car for you. I had one of these, to, believe it or not. Hey, to park in your showroom. It's actually really nice in the showroom. It has that, I like it. It has that look. I like it. One weird thing about this, you would think it would be super solid, but it's not. It's hollow it's underneath. underneath. Being a CGT owner, or you just expect this to be solid like the back of the CGT is. <laughs> Dodge. <laughs> Where's your Rolex, right? I don't wear Rolexes anymore because you guys all ruined it for me. So you have headers? Look at the size of those things. Holy. That's amazing. I think it's like full of DOS too. That's so like, cool. None of this is stock? No. Or any of this that you can see through the back window? No. None of that's stock? So you're being facetious right now? I don't know. It's maybe, a maybe Dodge. You, maybe you should buy this as the next tire slayer. Title and thumbnail for this video is Damon by his Viper. In Carney. <laughs> we can't drive. <laughs> Dave loves to talk about our buddy who's a formula drift. Is that what he does? He's a race car driver. He drives the truck. <laughs> he drives the truck. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Dean, you <laughs> it would be crazy to have an ACR. Would anybody want to see an ACR on DV? Apparently, I'm the one on the channel that has too many cars. Maybe getting another car isn't what I should do. Now, the ACR is really cool, and there is another car that I've been looking for forever that finally, Matt August, has found me. Supposed to be here next week. Let's get the AC recharged in this, and it'll be bulletproof and done. Done off the list of cars to do. That will be next. 720, we got a pickup tomorrow. We're taking it in the morning to McLaren to get the roof passenger glass replaced. How much is the glass? 
How much is it? Eight thousand two hundred and seventy-six dollars for one side. Eighty cents for one side. Wow. Holy. All the cars will be topped up, fixed. Then we're sending a Perta 720 stateside. Twin turbos on transport. Dave's car, twin turbo, is coming from Florida. It is gonna be hit the streets of LA and destroy every car show and every street that we find. Listen to the sweet howl of the Murcielago. Sounds so freaking good. Little clickety clack of the old gated shifter right here for you guys. That's actually really sick. Yeah, I think this is the place. There it is, Mike's Auto. Okay, we gotta park this beast. The AC recharge, because it's damn hot in here. It's hot. Oh, back into the Bentley. Is it cold? This guy's got a lot of your favorite cars sitting around here. Porsches, 911s. I have an idea. Earlier today, we saw a white ghost. I was like, that thing's sick. We actually have one for sale. A two-tone. Same two-tone as this. We should test drive one at some point. I've never driven one before. A ghost? Never driven a Rolls Royce? Sounds funny. This is more of an enthusiast car. They did build them for drivers. with Rolls Royce. Probably feels a lot more muted. Probably don't get as much driver feedback. Like, this is actually fun to drive. I've never driven your car. I've never driven this. Do you want to drive it someday? Do you want me to drive it right now? I've never been in the back of you driving. This is actually fun. All right, here we go. We just discussed something fun to do. Be gentle on her, it's not one of your piece of cars. This is a Bentley. <laughs> this is luxury. You have 750 foot pounds of torque, 505 horsepower. How do we get that? You're the driver, I'm just here to drink champagne. You're the driver I've ever had. Stop, please. Holy sh <laughs> All right, now we're ready to go. Is it good? He's on the brakes in this thing. Colts are coming through. Yeah, what are you thinking about? Dave from DD. Come on! They should just know that. Oh, this is really close. Should I curb your wheels? Oh, what's up, minivan? How you doing? <laughs> All right, Damon, how's the driving experience so far? It's actually crazy. Holding this steering wheel, smooth, solid wood steering wheel, it makes you feel like, hey! Another Bentley owner. It makes you feel like you are driving opulence. This thing is insane. It's really and nice. And you sit low, the dash is super high, the door is super high, so it feels like you're in this massive car. Is that any good, that apple juice that you got? Oh, apple juice? Yeah. Yep. Your minivan, ma'am. Might sell this and buy 30 of them. Can you imagine what wifey would say if I showed her the G-Wagon like this? Sounds like a piece of <laughs> G-Wagon torn apart. So in order to wrap this truck, these are one of the hardest vehicles to wrap. I know I called it a truck and that triggers some people. Sue me. To wrap this is like an absolute nightmare because to wrap the body, you have to actually remove the fenders, all this trim, door handles, the mirrors. You have to remove the, these big massive turn signals on the fenders, all the trim and the grills. Absolutely crazy how much stuff you have to take off this vehicle just to get it to where you can simply wrap these main panels. So the bumpers have been removed. The spare tire. And now we're gonna take it to Wrapworks. They're gonna clay bar the whole thing. And this is gonna go two-tone Nardo gray and black. Black fenders, black bumper. The roof's all fixed. You would never know. Oh, I hit a sprinkler in underground parking. Oh, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. Sounds cool. If you get past all the flapping of the plastic, listen to it. What's up, you son of a bitch? What's going on? You ready to do this? Nice mods to the Jeep. Pull the fender delete. Bumper delete. Fender delete. delete. Rear spare tire delete. Hardcore mirror delete now, What, right? what do you think? Yeah, yeah no mirrors. No handles. No door handles. No turn signals. <laughs> like that. One more thing checked off the old to-do list. We wanna go now. Let's go, we got more things to check off our list. Yeah, okay, I had a few thoughts about the Viper. What if I got the Viper and I became the tire slayer which took away some of Damon's fire in his eyes and the audience actually enjoyed the videos because I hosted them. What are your thoughts? I'm gonna start telling jokes on the channel. That's what's up. Good luck with that. Yeah, that's all gonna That happen. was a joke right there, actually. <laughs> Not a funny guy. No. So what do you think of me driving a Viper? Uh, I don't know if you can handle a Viper. Probably not. But this thing is absolutely crazy. Woodhouse heads, crazy exhaust. It has everything and it only has 600 miles, Dave. If you're getting one, this is the one. It's beautiful. Uh, We've talked about 
about having an ACR on the channel for a couple of years now. They had an ACR up at August once and it sold right away, a black one with a red stripe. Yeah, but the thing is, ACRs back in the day were cheap. We were doing literally uh, selling these things for 125 grand Canadian. No. Three years ago or so. And now all of a sudden it's a thing. It's such a crazy car. I mean, not many cars come from the factory with this much aero. Yeah. This is all factory in the front here. Do you think Dave can handle this car? It, it could also hurt. We have Dean Kearney who's one of the D driver that has a bike. He could teach me how to drive. He almost said Formula One. Yeah, he wishes. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm laughing. You really want to? I would consider it. I mean, it's pretty crazy, and it's manual, rear wheel drive, lots of power, so you do dumb stuff. In you it. guys want to see Dave drive an ACR? Oh my god! You want to hop in? But you break it, you buy it, buddy. Oh Click, where's, where's the paddles? It's, it's a big stick on the right side, bro. So let's put it in five and ride it out, or what? Put it in five. Put it in five. Dude, look at this. Dude, the ACR is nuts. It's the one car we've talked about for a long time that would be a stunting car because the parts on this wouldn't be ridiculous. A lot of dry carbon in here. Right? Carbon, carbon Alcantara. Carbon. This one had every option. So the carbon, the Alcantara has the high end, the, I'm not a good car. So it's, it's crazy. You're not very good at this, are you? Just buy it and get out of my store. Well, I'm really curious what the audience thinks. They find this really interesting on the channel. I mean, we've done a lot of exotic stuff, but, but maybe having a Viper. This motor, with the nine liter, with the stroker kit, has 825 horsepower to the crank. Power. Naturally aspirated. Did you know Lamborghini helped develop this engine back in the day for the V10? Google it. Are Lamborghini, you, are helped. You Lamborghini helped why develop the V10. Google it. He swears a lot of What was the point? Balls. He's, he's oh, is it because you're in the American car? You think you can he's just uh, go straight? What's wrong with American cars? Nothing. Nice. <laughs> the whole time you have to grow the handlebar mustache out. No, that's all you can have when you drive this car. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. Yeah. Skirt, skirt, skirt. Well, Reverse entry teaching Dean Kearney that you bloody. That Irish accent was perfect. <laughs> Top of the morning to ya. Everything's a song. <laughs> Get out. Oh, oh, I'm ready. Going back to the US. Aventador known as Barney, which is a kid's cartoon character, which <laughs> killed his car after, which not a big fan of, but sure, car car Barney. It's a little weird. <laughs> do your thing. <laughs> that was loud. It's so different in the sense that like the Aventador will do these pops and bangs and shoot these flames when you rev it, but the Mercy is known for shooting a massive fireball when you shift between gears. <laughs> What a gas just from shooting flames. Always. <laughs> I can't get over the fact just how different the two models are. Oh, because totally. you can do that, but then you can't do the big fireball that the Mercy does. Aren't you 
Bougie, use a little napkin. Keep your fingers clean. The filth. Keep the filth off my fingers. Filth off you! <laughs> well, Yana's gonna love that one. I think the DD spec Aventador has been found. Has it? Yeah. SV? I can't give that SV. away. I can tell you a little more off camera. Dave, start with work. They're still recording. You're still recording, I know you. I can, Dave, I know you can hear when you turn it off, when it goes <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Smash the subscribe button, you guys, and stay tuned, because we are on our way back to Cali very, very soon. Peace. No, and, and Luke's shirt, no, Luke's shirt. That's mm. <laughs>